we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of blush so with the blush it depends on the colors that you're going to use if it is one that satin it's going to show up a lot more and be more pigmented so you only want to like tap on just a little bit and I do like to mix my colors together so I just like put some on just like this and then I'll blend everything out using the blend brush so you can just tap and blend it just depends on where you like the placement of your blush whether you want to go ahead and put it high or put it low but you're just gonna go ahead and tap all of that on just like this. It's just the beauty in doing this makeup is that never be afraid to mix and match colors and the more pigmented your skin is, the more vibrant and brighter of a colors that you want because remember that it's cream and it's always gonna blend out. So next what we're gonna do is go ahead and align our lips. You can use your contour or if you have a bronzer, use your bronzer. Go ahead and line your lips with it just like this. And then that way you can go ahead and create a beautiful lipstick. I feel that lining the lips definitely does help. You can even line your lips with a different lip and cheek color that is a little bit darker for your skin tone as well. Whatever lip shades you want to apply, you can go ahead and apply them, whether you want to use the same two colors or just one. Get to some of the extras. Now, if you have to set your makeup, you can go ahead and set your makeup. I would highly recommend for every skin type to take a damp beauty blender and just go in and tap the makeup before you use any setting spray or any powder on your face if you have combination to oily skin for the simple fact that you want to get that nice even blend, no lines of demarcation. It just really makes everything look very smooth and cohesive together on the skin. So don't skip this A good setting spray. Use the Damp Beauty Blender or just spray your face. If using the setting spray is like more than enough, then you can just lightly go on top with the Beauty Blender just to really work that setting spray in. Add a little bit of powder, you can go in and add just a little bit of powder. Now Saint does have a vanilla dust powder. I don't feel that it is brown girl friendly right now. It is a translucent powder. However, it might leave a little bit of a white cast. So there's other powders that you can use that are recommended that work well with this makeup. Outside of using the eyeshadows, you would probably have gotten a bronzer and illuminator. So let me show you how to use it. Use that damp beauty blender because it's really going to just make everything easier when you're applying your bronzer and illuminator. With bronzer, just use the biggest end of your damp beauty blender and just tap it on the outer skirts of the face. This is to create warmth and it really kind of dresses up that makeup look without even trying. So you just go ahead and tap the forehead area, tap and sweep back so you don't get a line of demarcation, come down the cheek line just like this. And then you have the option to take it to the tip of the nose and then even the chin area. Now with Illuminator, the Illuminator, I would say do the same thing. If you are prone to have like wrinkles or hollowness in your under eye area, be mindful of where you put the Illuminator. You wanna put it kind of right on that high cheekbone and then make it very lightly. The Damp Beauty Blender works really great and allows you to already have it kind of pre-blended out and it does a lot of the work for you and dressing up your makeup look. The tip of the nose and then even the cupid's bow very lightly just like that and then that is pretty much it. It's simple, it looks really nice, beautiful and natural looking with elegance. I'm gonna show you how to do a simple eyeshadow look. You can just go ahead and take a transition color. This is in butterscotch. We're gonna go ahead and just tap that across the hood of the eye. That's just underneath that brow bone where your eye comes out of the socket there. Shimmer shade, this is in the color You Complete Me and just tap it all over the lid space. That same brush, just make sure everything is blended. You don't need to add any more product. Just make sure everything is blended out. 